Hello and welcome again everyone to another video and in today's video again we still uh, are, we, we're still playing the same team I had a chance to play like three or four sets and two of them like the record for some reason is not be is, is not working so luckily we still have two more sets that are that were recorded okay let me put the speed on 1.5 I'm I'm still using the same team Registeel, Trevenant and Knocked Owl so opponent here brought the Azumarill into the Noctowl could be two reasons one they don't have an, an actual straight hard answer to Noctowl two they know the team and they know I have a Trevenant in the back so if this is technically Azu is not an answer to Noctowl because the bubble doesn't do any damage to Noctowl right and Noctowl can comfortably live in Ice Beam so you guys see I didn't shield there why because I do live that so now even if they shield, I can get to another one before they do get to a move, which is which is good for me because now I can force him to either shield or give me a swap. And if he give me a swap, I can have a Trevenant aligned against that Medi. So now I think I make a mistake here. So let's see. Is it the... What's in the back? Okay, we shield here. So now whatever they swap in, I should blindly go Reggie, but I didn't go Reggie for some reason. I threw a Shadow Ball, which is horrible. Why? Because I need one move regardless. So I need to catch a Rock Slide. That's step number one. We got the Rock Slide. Number two, I need to get to two Focus Blast. Here's the thing. I comfortably get to two Focus Blast in this matchup. Why? Because my Reggie is a solid IV. Remember, you need a good IV Registeel. You can't just use Raid IV Registeel because there is a much to break one. Look at that. I live enough to throw this move. Now, here's the thing. They coat. What does that mean? I need to under charge. Why? Because I need to get a Shadow Ball. So, we get to the Shadow Ball. So, now we just throw the Shadow Ball. So, you saw my Registeel comfortably live the Rock Slide and the EQ and the Mud Shot in between because I get the Mud Shot Breakpoint. So, that's something to, 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 to be aware of. Another horrible lead. You see, guys, that matchup technically get hard countered. This matchup is, is very awkward, and every time I play it, I'd be like, I should shield the first move because it's a wild charge if they swap in, right? And I've never done that. I don't know why. I keep forgetting that I need to shield the first move because now I'm shielding body slams here. That wild charge did lots of damage, not gonna lie. And they lived with 1 HP. What do we do? I'm just gonna shield. You know what? Like, we fought for the swap, let's just earn it. Uh, they brought a Noctowl. Now, all I need is just to put this Noctowl in Zap Cannon range. And here is the thing. I was, I think I was playing in Discord and tap tapping and talking with my viewers on Discord. Talking to my viewers on Discord, that's something new. Uh, I mean, we do have an amazing Discord. Make sure to join the Discord if you're looking to a place where you can share battles, hang out with, with people who are playing their battles. Make sure to join the Discord. So I was, I, I don't think I was pretty much focusing on, on this battle. Because I, I do like call two mistakes here. Uh, so now what do we do? This Ice Punch KOs and... Wait, I actually played this well, not gonna lie. Now what do I do? Well, I pretty much committed, so I have to fully commit. Now they brought the Knock Towel, so we can just Zap Cannon it. So technically the Knock Towel helped in putting their Knock Towel in Zap Cannon range and we win the game. See guys? Two games, we lost the lead hard, and we still won the games. Okay, this is three battles, okay? They're the two losses from the previous battles that didn't make it to YouTube. Okay, this is a good lead. And here is the thing. If they don't throw, you have to do one, one lock on above the zap cannon, so you don't give them a full fast move. And we get the, de we get the attack fell. What does that mean? That means we no shield. Why? Because we got the attack fell, so... We can get something like that. We, we, we actually call the, the bait. Okay, now what do we do? I should have shielded that one, not gonna lie. Why? Because I already called the bait. Calling two baits is, is just too greedy. Because now, I died to Icicle Spear. So technically, I could have grabbed the second shield, but I don't like that. Not gonna lie. So now we go Trevenant. We shield the move. We over farm slightly by one or two at max. Nothing more, because he has like some resi residual energy. Uh, this is supposed to KO. So now, Noctowl up a shield against the ward, and Noctowl wins against everything up a shield. Let's be honest. 
Uh, my opponent is trying to sh just to catch and if you guys were paying attention i didn't even try to throw why because i lose cmp so technically throwing there is, is is not a good sign right so we over farm regardless okay knocked our lead this is amazing they swapped in sableye there is two plays i think in the previous video i said you can tank a move and swap you can also insta swap there is no and i tried both of them and both are fine what are viable options to do nothing wrong with doing that so since they throw the turn i'm gonna throw before they get to the foul play why because i don't want to tank another move why because i can get the two sky attacks if they decided to farm me down which is gonna put them in literally lock on down range and i didn't see a fast move coming so i'm assuming i want to cmp here opponent miscounted so we benefited from that again opponent miscounting is part of your win con sometimes you need the opponent to make a mistake but here i mean come on guys we won when we lost lead and swap in the last two games hello okay we're not gonna lose the game where we actually win the lead that good and they have a medi in the back we have a trevenant here so <coughs> i tend to no shield the first move because if they bait that's very good if they don't bait i still live it and i comfortably get to another move so see that's why you call the first one you okay, guys don't be like people don't bait the first move no if you live it he's not supposed to shield and opponent realized that there is no way they could win this game and we win this game and we move on to the next matchup <sighs> okay in this matchup i always make the same mistake what's this make What's this, the, the the mistake is throwing the second focus blast as soon as I get it. Because they might catch it on trap, they might catch it on a flyer. So be aware, in this matchup, don't insta throw the second move, because they might catch it. Uh, I don't mind taking this. Why? Uh, for one reason. Because I can still get to another move, because I have a good IV Registeel. So again, I said it a million times, you need a good IV Registeel. Registeel, that's raid IV, is a bad Registeel. Uh, now, what do, what do what am I going to do? Well, I need to not kill the Altaria, so my Trevenant gets energy lead. Because the Registeel has, is one lock on away from getting to a move, right? So, I don't want to kill this. Because if I kill this, Registeel is going to lock on, lock on me down. And Registeel is pretty healthy. So I have to farm down here. They pretty much will bring Registeel here. I know shield. So they I did two Shadow Claws. So technically they are six Shadow Claws away from getting to the move. I did three and throw. Why? Because this does not KO. So it doesn't matter. So three moves, he's going to get to a move. Oh boy. And uh, I was trying... To catch a move but they didn't throw it they actually over farmed which is smart by them and i miscounted here i mean i didn't miss no wait i didn't miscount even if i throw there i need that extra shadow claw if i throw there that just still will get to a move so i have to i have to be like two fast moves away obstagoon horrible lead but it's playable let's be honest i can still grab some shields here right so now if they so my best play here is to get two shields. If I can get shields down, I have a play against whatever in the back, unless it's Umbreon. And they caught on Nido Queen. Well, this is not that bad, not gonna lie. It's not the end of the world. So all I need is just, I can tank a move here and throw the next one on CMP in case. I mean, they pretty much don't shield because they have Obstagoon, right? And they have Knocked Owl. Okay, let's fast forward. Okay, this game is unwinnable. Because, yes, I have more shields. And my opponent, I don't know. Okay, if my opponent, if you're watching this video, you played really well, okay? Like, if you... if look, Let's go back. My opponent, look at him. He's waiting a turn every time to make sure that I did a fast move so he throw. So he actually didn't give me, like, a possible way where I can catch a move. So... If you're in chat, you're a good player, okay? If you're watching this video, you're too good, my friend. You're too good. See? Even when, when I was like, okay, he's about to die, so I'm just gonna swap. And he's like, no, he didn't even throw the move. Swampert lead, horrible lead. But here's the thing. Most Swampert teams are weak to Noctowl. 
because they have to have their own knock towel as the knock towel Einstein. But here's the thing: if I swap first. If I swap first. I am gonna get to my move before them, so I can flip swap and then have Trevenant against the Swamper, and then Registeel should be fine against whatever in the back because there are two different teams: one with Gfisk, one with another flyer. Uh, the one, the team that PB Poke suggested, and I think Yonkas and Zionic featured after as like the top performing team according to, to the Sims. Uh, it's kind of an RPS team, not gonna lie, but. Hey, it's a team. Okay, this is this meta is RPS, so technically it's not bad. And they have an Umbreon, so flipping the swap was good. Uh, if you were in this situation and you want to swap and you are the Swampert, throw one Hydro Cannon and then go to Umbreon. Okay. I threw here on CMP. I was expecting them to throw on CMP, but they didn't give me that advantage. So technically... Opponent is playing carefully, but here's the thing. I have Registeel, they have Umbreon. The Focus Blast is going to KO. So as long as they don't catch on Swampert, I should be fine. I mean, technically, I am fine regardless, okay? So now what do we do? We just keep farming. And see, we saw the Snarl. We wait a turn. Then we throw the move. Then we get out. And then we go at Revenant against a Swampert, which is unlosable. And I think this is the last battle. Thank you so much everyone for watching. If you are enjoying the content, please leave a like to the video. It helps the channel to grow. And if you are not sub, please consider subscribing. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps my channel to grow. So other people can also get to watch the content so I can make more content. Because if the content is not getting loved, there's no point of making it. Correct? And in one of the, the last video, I think around 150 subs. We're watching a video out of like 5,000 views, okay? So it's like the, 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 there are like, most people are non-sub. So please, if you're non-sub and you're watching the content and you like the content, give, give, give me a sub. Uh, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will be posting a video about self formats where I'll be talking about some specific matchups from last cycle. Probably like the best matchup in the entire cycle. Like where two back two undefeated battles faced each other, and like there were like some savage moments in, in these battles. So if you're in, if you are into self content, make sure to subscribe as well, so you can get to watch the video when I post it. And yeah, that's it for today. See you in the next video. Peace.